It's February 1st, guys. Valentine's Day is approaching quick, which means that you have to get a present ready. For the most part, most gifts are just appreciated in general, and that's especially so on Valentine's Day. So if you have a special someone that you're looking to give a gift to, particularly, this video is specifically for people in long distance relationships, as well, on top of that, I'm gonna be listing these five different gifts ideas from like the cheapest option all the way to the most expensive option. So with all that being said, let me just jump right into the very first gift idea for any long distance relationship couple with either a video or a picture collage. This is literally free. You don't need any money to do this. If you're watching this video right now, you have the tools to be able to create a video or a picture collage. It's that easy, okay? You can't make an excuse on this. If you have no budget and you have no way to gift someone something, this simple thing is something that you can do that will still make a difference to them. And I'm telling you that this actually works because my wife made something for me back in 2018, okay? And I still sometimes look back at it. It's so cute. It's just a simple little video of pictures of us together with I love you coming up on the screen sometimes. And it's so cute. You know, it just kind of makes me look back and appreciate what we had back in the day. And you can't make an excuse about, oh, I don't know what video editor to use. I don't know what picture editor to use. I'm going to lay those out for you really quickly. If you're looking to make a collage of pictures and you're going to make like 10, 12 pictures, and you want to make them collage style, use Canva. Canva is an app that's completely free. It's available on any phone, regardless of whether you have iPhone or Android. Canva is literally a universal app that's on literally everywhere. You can't go wrong if you wanna do a picture collage. If you wanna do something like my wife did with a video, if you want to make a video on your phone and you don't have access to a computer, use CapCut. CapCut is another free app that's very easy to use and you can link together all the different pictures and use cute little effects just like my wife did. If you're on a computer though, I would highly recommend that you check out DaVinci. DaVinci is a really, really good video editor that I personally use to be able to edit all of my videos. And you don't need hardly any experience to be able to actually just piece together different videos and make something cute for your long distance relationship. There's, there's, not, no, there's not too much that you can't do for this first gift idea. I gave you the resources, I'm giving you the ideas, it's on you to execute it. Gift number two is something that you really don't need to spend that much money on and it's still a super cute idea. Take yourself and them on a virtual video date. Both of you can go to like different restaurants. For example, you could go to Red Robin, they can go to Chili's and then you both just sit down, clap your phones up here on the stand and then just video call each other you know, order wherever you're gonna order, kind of eat together, talk with each other over video. Is it gonna look cringy? You're in a public restaurant on your phone. Yes, it's gonna look cringy, but you don't care about these other people around you. You are going on a dinner date with your spouse or breakfast date for them or whatever, you know. A video date is a cute little thing. And if you don't have access to go to a restaurant, you can go still go on a video date to a public park, to a museum. There's countless options of video dates that you can go on just Depending on your travel budget or your budget in general, there's not really too much that you can't do with a virtual video date. Gift number three is a super special gift because it's a subscription to my channel. And in exchange, I'm helping you, you're helping me. I mean, that's, I think that's a great Valentine's Good Day gift. Why don't you suck? Okay, but for real, the actual third gift idea is getting something and mailing it to them. Yes, this requires you getting their physical address. And if you're international, international shipping can be very, very expensive. But please, please, please don't buy anything that's specifically only for Valentine's Day. And there's a couple of different reasons why. 
Number one, it's disingenuous. It feels like you're getting the gift because it's Valentine's Day and not because you thought that they would like it. So it just feels a little bit disingenuous. Now you can get it if you do think that they'll like it, but Valentine's Day gifts are just corny and it doesn't feel as special as getting something very personal. Number two, speaking of personal, Valentine's Day gifts are often more expensive than just getting a regular thing. For example, for my wife's Valentine's Day gift, don't tell her, just keep this between you and me, don't tell her, okay? But my gift to her is a cute little, it's a little kiwi plushie that's about yay big, and I saw it on the floor at Walmart. I was going to grab my car scent, my car, Febreze car scent clip thingy, and on the way to that aisle, I ran into the little kiwi on the floor. I picked it up and I looked at it and I see it's doing a little wink and a smile and I think it's so cute. And I know my wife has been wanting a stuffed animal just like this. I initially put it back in the bin, but when I after I got my car scent clip, I went back and I picked it up and it was only $19, so I said, why not? So I got my wife a cute little kiwi and yeah, so she's gonna love that, but keep that between you and me. Point is, is that, the, I thought that I think that she'll actually like the kiwi. It's not Valentine's Day themed. It's cheaper. It's cuter. It, gifts like this are just super simple. And if you keep thinking about the fact that they're going to like it and you like it, there's really nothing that can go wrong here. Now, gift number four is entering into the pretty expensive territory. This one, you'll probably be spending a couple hundred dollars, maybe even a couple thousand dollars on this idea. So gift idea number four is to make plans and purchase a plane ticket or a train, train ticket. Purchase travel plans to go and physically see your spouse in person for maybe two or three days, ideally a week. First and foremost, you're actually meeting them in person. If it's your first time meeting them, it's a very exciting thing. If you're meeting them again, very exciting thing. And secondly, it allows you, if you're staying with them for a few days or a week, it allows you a small glimpse into what they will be like to actually be with in person. There's only so much detail you can gather from someone by video chatting with them and texting them and everything. You don't actually physically you know, stay together. So it's very hard to get a gauge on how compatible you actually are in person. So if your long distance relationship is say a six hour drive away or a two hour plane flight away or something, and it's only gonna cost you like $200, $300 to travel, and you're only gonna spend the week in there, God, by all means, go crazy, go see them, you know, experience what life is like with them for a little bit. This could be a little bit more dicey if you're like I was in my situation, where where your spouse is 8,500 miles away, literally across the world, a 12 hour time zone difference away. That's a little bit more tricky. I still did it because I was going for Lunar New Year and I stayed for two weeks and it was a blast. But I had also already previously met her and you know we hadn't seen each other in 14 months at that point. So that's why I did that back in 2019. Being able to actually arrange a spot for you to visit them is an exciting, fascinating opportunity. And the, the bliss that you feel when you meet them for the first time and you're finally reunited and you see them and you hug them and you just stand there for like two, three minutes in the airport, just absolutely smelling each other and hugging each other. It's so, so beautiful. Let's say that you wanna take it a step further than actually just meeting in person. That's where gift number five, the most expensive option comes in. You do gift number four, you still book a flight, you still go see them, you still do the cute little one week stay, but you bring an engagement ring and you propose to them at the end of your stay, or at least the day before. There's not really too much I can say about that. Obviously, you're going to be spending maybe a thousand or more on your engagement ring, but if you've met this person before and you've been with them for longer than six months and you feel it truly is meant to be, bring the engagement ring. And even if, worst case scenario, it doesn't work out and you don't actually propose, you just don't reveal the engagement ring, you bring it back with you, and more often than not, you can, as long as you kept the receipt, you can return it to the jeweler shop 
for a full refund, and if not a full refund, then at least a store credit. I feel like gifts number four and five are kind of merging together now because, I mean, if you're gonna do gift number four, which is going to see them in person, you may as well bring the engagement ring. Unless your budget really isn't calling for it, or you don't intend on actually like merit proposing to them yet, then don't worry about the engagement ring. Just go see them and visit them and experience them in real in, in person. With that being said, that's five cute little Valentine Day gift ideas that anybody can implement, literally anybody. Anywhere from being as free as just making a short little video or a picture collage, all the way up to spending thousands of dollars for an engagement ring, a plane ticket, and a trip to go see your spouse. There's all kinds of different gift ideas that you can come up with for this Valentine's Day. And I'm telling you, it's not corny to give people gifts. Please stop trying to think that it's corny or lame or whatever else, because it's not. Being able to see how happy they are when you actually give them that gift and being able to actually have it last through the years is truly, truly incredible. But you have to stop limiting yourself on your belief that you can't do anything. Rewatch this video on the first gift idea. It's free. Everything that I give you is completely free. You have no excuses. The only thing that you let go of is your time. And that's spending maybe two hours out of your day for a gift that's gonna last years down the road. So please just trust me. Do a Valentine's Day gift. I promise it's gonna be super worth it, okay? Leave me a like or a dislike and write a comment below if you can think of any other gift ideas for Valentine's Day for a long distance partner. I'll see you around. Take care.